and that the Montagnard nation continues to suffer persecution as a result of being abandoned in that war. And it condemns the terrible treatment caused by the Vietnamese government against the Montagnard people. It also recognizes the importance of the United States Refugee Admission Program that whenever Montagnard people are determined eligible, that they should be provided access to the United States for resettlement. <clears throat> but I sadly report to you today that those are broken promises once again added to the previous list of other promises made to the Montagnard people. In fact, almost, almost 100% of the refugees that are in Thailand today, that were in Thailand during uh, in 2016, are still over there today. They're still waiting for their promise to be fulfilled. And we are here because the United States government needs to be reminded that we have to make good on promises that have already been made. But we're also here to remind ourselves of some promises that God has made to us and to reflect on the conditions of some of those promises. One of those promises that I've been asked to uh, remind you of is found in the very first psalm. God says to His people, if you do this, I'll do this. If you'll do this, He says, I'll guarantee you, you will have absolute success. If you'll do this, God, He says, you will have 100% prosperity. But be careful. He also gives a word of warning in that text. He says, if you insist on doing things the ways of the world, then you're going to wind up with the world's kind of results. And that will not bring you success. So do you want to have success? That's the question for you today. Do you want to enjoy success? Do you want to be a people of prosperity? Amen? Amen. Amen. So I want you to listen to what the Word of God says <clears throat> must be done. Blessed is the man. <clears throat> is the nation that whose God is the God. Blessed are the people that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. <coughs> And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And his leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's a promise for absolute success. That's a promise for guaranteed prosperity. God says if you'll do this, I'll guarantee you prosperity. But he doesn't end there. He goes on. And he says the young godless are not so, but are like the chaff which will be proud of the way. Therefore, the young godless shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners and the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord is the way of the righteous, but the way of the young godless shall perish. And this is the chair. We're in Washington, D.C. Thank you. 
Timothy of something. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 1, he said, I know whom I have believed in. And in the place that he is able to teach that which I've committed unto him against that day. Unto him. Unto him. Do you know him? Do you know him, folks? You see, let me tell you who he is. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the ending. He's the first and the last. He's the faithful and true witness. He's the firstborn from the dead, heir of all things, creator of all things, sustainer of all things. He's the hope of glory, our hope for the future, our blessed hope. He's the image of the invisible God. He's Emmanuel, God with us, the judge of the living and the dead, King eternal, King of Israel, King of the Jews, King of the ages. He's the great I am. He's the way that taketh away the sins of the world. He's the light that shines in the